today I'm bringing you guys along for a visit to the Showcase of Citrus here in Claremont, Florida. And we're gonna do something special. And I'm also here with friends. It was two years ago this very month that I was last here. I didn't see this last time though. Make a wish, Wheel of Good Fortune. The story of the bronze alligator. Rub its tail and toss a quarter for good fortune. This is a good luck alligator. Adam, Dylan, hey guys. Hey. Hello. <laughs> so what I read was you rub its tail and then you throw in a quarter for good luck, but I only have one quarter. So we all have to cooperate and rub the tail together and then I'll throw the quarter for all of us, okay? You have to make a wish. And I also have hand sanitizer for after we rub its tail, okay? So I'm ready. Jackie has, has the quarter. I have the quarter. They're very vague on the instructions. We rub the tail. We rub the tail, okay? Let's do it. We rub the tail first. I rub the tail and... Okay. Hold on. So Stop we, asking so many so questions. We rub the tail first, then toss the quarter. Maybe. We all rub the tail at the same time, and while we're rubbing, I toss. Okay. Okay, I'm making up the rules here. The sign is very vague. Okay. You know okay. what? Welcome to Florida, Dylan. Oh, yeah. Rub a gator tail. <laughs> gonna rub this gator tail. One, two, three. I'm going to rub a, a little wish. bit over here. Make We're making a wish. a wish. And toss the coin. Toss the quarter. We made a wish. Thank you. Want some? Yeah. I've got this and lovely I lavender not spray. Trust the way that gator has been. <laughs> you don't know where these gators have been. This is Florida, people. All right. Good wish. Good luck. Good fortune. Let's go. Now that we have appropriately satiated the Wheel of Good Fortune, we have started our day on the right foot. Also sanitized. Anyone who grew up in Florida or even visited here often eventually had to have visited these fruit stands. It's just kind of like part of Florida life. I love that giant you pick citrus mural. Yeah, this place, good vibes. We've got good weather today. The coconut says so. I'm happy to report it's an ideal day here in Florida. Sunny, beautiful, reflections on the water. Hi, Gator. Ahoy there, mateys. We're back at the Showcase of Citrus. There's apartments over there. They're wondering why you're yelling at them. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Have a great day, bye-bye. Just had to take a little walk out on this dock to look out over the water. You can easily miss it if you come out here to Showcase of Citrus, so make sure you look to the right when you pull into the parking lot. Take a little walk out on the dock. Say hi to Lucky the Alligator. That's Lucky part two. Lucky part one's up in the front. Make sure you rub its tail too and feed it a quarter. They're playing Christmas music. How fun. I'll give you a rare of wisdom. We're gonna check in and we are gonna do a monster truck ride and a hay ride. It's gonna be a very exciting day, right Kitty? This is Boots. It yes. is Boots. Resident and he's register gonna... cat ringing us up. Boots, thank you so much. Excellent service. Okay. All he's right. He's going to keep your bag nice and warm. <laughs> right, okay. Nice. They've also got monster beer and monster trucks. How cool is that? Beer and Florida wine. There's a lot of local products here, which is my favorite thing about it. I love the murals too. Hello, sir. Can you tell me which way to the monster truck ride? We're doing a hayride, and I'm gonna call it a holiday hayride because I see some holiday decorations on the hay thing. Uh, 1957 case. So this is a 1957 case that they've renovated, they've restored. Oh, yeah. Restore, yeah. And then we've got a wagon here. I like that we have some Christmas decorations on it. It's a holiday hayride, right? Yep. Holiday hayride. Yay! And it's just us. We've got our own hayride. On ourselves? Yes. How oh, cool! Awesome. Well, three months ago, we started bringing a different type of food. We got a Cuban food. Oh, nice! Got, the food uh, trucks. Italian. So the food trucks are a fairly new addition. I noticed them right when we walked in. I think that's so smart and such a perfect thing to add. It's a holiday hayride. Got a lot of space here. Really couldn't pick a better day to do this. And we're gonna get to see some of the property and the you pick fruits. Blueberries are ready, but if you see they're already coming out. So April and May you can come out here and yep. you pick blueberries. You pick your own blueberries are gonna be oh, in this look, how nice. 
So you can see there's like space in between each row of blueberry plants where you walk through and you pick them and put them in your little basket. That's such a fun thing. Orlando balloons over there in the back. If you see those baskets over there covered. Oh yeah. They usually take off from here or they land over here depending on the wind. Uh, they can go up from uh, 500 feet to almost 3,000 feet. Oh my gosh. And this is where we went over here. That's the idea that you can pick your orange. We're going to go down all over here in this row. And then we're gonna go where the tower is. Oh yeah! And that's where we get the most of the fruit on that side by the lake. Oh, okay. awesome! And I see you're gonna try to find a baby alligator. Oh yeah! Both yes. from the back over there, so. I'll see if I can see into that. Okay. I have very happy childhood memories of picking particularly strawberries in South Florida. Like you pick strawberry fields were a big thing. So we'd come out with my family, pick a bunch of strawberries, and then right there on the spot they would make them into a milkshake for you. So I remember like taking home the spoils of the strawberry picking, having a milkshake. It's just like a really fun way to make memories with your family. I love that you get a tour guide along with the hayride. It's not just hop in the hayride and have a nice ride, which honestly I'd be happy with on its own too. I get some like history and information. I'll do the Disney Springs balloon if yeah. the weather ever cooperates. <laughs> but a hot air balloon from Central Florida. I do work it. my way up to that. Got more honey tangerine here. Red navel. Is that a is that a pig head? Where? Right there. Oh my gosh, it is. That's, that's an elephant. That's an elephant. Find He's it. trying to trying to draw out the baby alligator. And there goes a butterfly Aww. perching next to the elephant head. Why is there an elephant head there? No alligator here. No alligator here. You play, I put the orange in the water so they want to heat the noise. Yeah. Towards, towards the thing, but I guess. Uh, so he I could be like anywhere. <laughs> Detailed tour. No elephant discussion. <laughs> Do not. We don't talk about the elephant anymore. Sugar Bell, Sugar Bell, Sugar Bell. It's Christmas time in the orange groves. This field over here is the popular Valencia orange. I don't know if the monster truck ride is going to be able to top this. This is awesome. I love riding this tractor and they take such care at like refurbishing them 14 different type of fruit they're back on business they do four types of honeys they got the honey bees on property because they help with the orange oh cool and we collect the honey and sell it on the store too look at how big it is that's a big it's nice a big, lemon it's almost like an orange yeah wow that's a lemon that's about as organic as you're gonna get this is all dedicated just for you pick wow. did you see back there yeah that's a honey bell when you're gonna pick oh. that they're gonna give you a stick so oh, yeah, so that seems like the fun one. Yeah. The honey bell, you get a stick and you like and pick it out of the, the tree. And we came this way, Valencia Orange, we came down here, look for the alligator, <laughs> we came back over here and now we're here. And I like we, how the alligator's in the map. Because 80% of the time he's there. How funny. Yep. Where is he? Yeah. This baby, it's like, it's very, very small, it's like about four baby gators on property, but the thing is, they go from here and they, they go all the way to the store. Oh, they're right. gonna have to get You know what I pick you up in the truck? Yeah. That's a bridge over there. So they go maybe they we'll go see. back and forth. Okay, maybe we'll see them later. Yeah. We just learned about this global bacteria that is kind of harming the orange population worldwide. It's an issue in California and it's an issue many other places in the world. And fighting it is so tough. So they're very lucky to have strong and robust orange fields here. Also look behind us. Hi. <laughs> Look at look on this tree. Look at this little guy. Just think, all of this is a very short distance from the theme park. Dirt road, orange trees, tractors, and hay ride. Look at that one nowhere. There's the Orlando balloon ride truck right there. Maybe we'll do that one day. It smells pretty scary, but cool. The monster trucks? It says world's largest monster trucks. Do you think that's true? We're going straight from one ride to another. We're gonna head out now on these giant monster trucks. Only guests with ticket beyond this point, and I've got our ticket here for three adults to ride the monster truck. We're riding on the bull, El Toro. I didn't expect that. See, you got something to hold on to there. I got nothing here. We're just, we're just free flying here. 
here. I don't even have a seatbelt. <laughs> no seatbelt. You don't have a seatbelt? No. This is I, have my, I have mine strapped no. on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can see in the dirt there the giant monster truck tire marks. <laughs> yeah, look at how big those tires are. They're like 10 feet tall, I think. Oh. Out there, that guy used to live out here like 80 or 85 years ago, and he used to run a moonshine still out there. There's the truck. Oh, there's the truck. Yeah, I didn't even see that. Nah, so what do you think? Gotta love an old rusty truck in the woods. Oh, what store? Gator alert! There we go. That's a nice size baby gator. The gate is it a gator? Gator's birthday. This is a guessing game, is it? Is it a trick question? <laughs> Are we supposed to know <laughs> whose birthday it is? Seeing gators in the wild is like, it's always fun and cool. If you go out to the Everglades, you're going to see tons of them everywhere. Yeah. Oh, look at the wood storks flying away. They're so large, he's like fairly unbothered by us. It's right there. It's right there. You guys want to come? Not that I'm an expert, but I think that's a little bigger than the last one. Maybe a couple feet. Anybody want to squander yeah. and grab that one? I'm going to say it's a foot or two It's not my longer. birthday. There's a huge cattle field on one side, and sometimes they come close to the monster truck. They're pretty close, but still a little far from us. Hey. They're pretty close now. Well, some, some of the, I love how their tails just place. lazily swing like, around. Yeah. So this guys don't like the bus what? for some reason. Other ones, as soon as they see the bus, they will beat feet all the way here as fast as they can, so they don't miss out on that orange. Yeah, it's starting to get yeah. real bumpy. Oh yeah! This is what you want when you ride a monster. Oh, we're going into. Spins out right now. I am gonna get soaked. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh boy! Oh. oh, this is deep. Oh my gosh! We're in the water. I think this is turned into a boat ride. I'm holding this so, like, so strongly right now. We like just got off 
of that bit of land into the water. Fun fact, the reason that this water is so dark is because of tannin from the leaves. Tannin is the same thing you get from tea, that's what darkens your tea. So all of these leaves that fall in fill these Florida waterways with this dark, dark color. So that is tannin full water. The more you know. Ding! Or no, it's a dog bone. I feel like that's a relic from Halloween. That was pretty cool. Like we went through that deep, deep trench. I'm only allowed to stand up when the truck stops so can look around. Walt Disney World brings in their organic material, material from their water treatment plant, all sorts of anything that they basically can't dispose of on their own that's organic material. So that they can't recycle themselves, they bring it here and then we recycle that. Plus the cities and the counties and the state dump their organic material here and also people that trim trees. Oh. And we take the tree trimmers and we put them over here in that pile there and we burn that down to ash. Then we take wow. the ash from that burn pile and take it over here to the building and mix it with the other organic material. We make our own fertilizer and compost. And then we use it all over the property. And if anybody lives nearby and needs any compost for their garden or their flower garden or vegetable garden, there's a concrete bin up in the front by the chain link fence. Free compost. Oh, that's cool. If you need some, you're welcome to it. Is that Christmas gift? Yeah. <laughs> Instead of coal. All right, so compost. our next stop is going to be um, Zia Zebras. A goat! Hello, Mr. Ga goat. Oh my gosh, look at this bison getting out of the water. Oh, oh my, my gosh, they're American coming. Bison. We've had them for about seven okay. weeks now. Mary. And they are approximately 16 months Mary, old, so they have a lot of growing to do. You, you know, it is Christmas life. time, goat. So I'm going to know if you've been good or bad. <laughs> they're really beautiful. Um, Hi. Hi. Incoming, it's a zebra. Oh, he likes that zebra. One. I think they know they're going to get fed some oranges. Nice. So, anyway, male and female. What is that? Thank you. Some zebra food. Zebra food. I got a zebra food. Let's see. You did it. You did it. Oh, it got it. It got mine. Yeah. Oh, there's. We have some sort of. Oh my gosh, it's a showdown. Oh, it's like the wild, oh my God. wild west. What is? What is oh my God. That was, uh, that was what just He's looking at us. What just happened? What? Even the goat is like wondering. He's like yeah. shaking his head. He's like, like, are we doing this or what, bro? Oh, All right, we're not doing this. Oh, Bye. What? Okay. Oh, oh, oh nipple. So I'm going to tell Santa. <laughs> hey, he's so cute. Yeah, he's like waving his tail. He's definitely looking at us and wagging his tail. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh he's, is he yawning or is he bawling? <laughs> he's like, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sneak under that barbed wire. I'm not telling anyone. Do it. Come on over here. Come on. I won't. I said I, was, I won't tell Santa. I was just joking. Come on, go. You want to hop on board? Come on. He hasn't. He hasn't started the engine yet. Come on. Get over here, go. Get over here. Look at the bison. Look at the bison. The a little bit. Right there. He's so so bright green. Like that alligator right He's there. Like lime green. Like the color of an iguana. He's gonna lay there Dawn. and wait for a little bird to walk by that he can grab. Get that vitamin C. Whoa, whoa. You can't have a full Florida day without some Spanish moss. Thank you. That was our monster truck. And this is another one here ready for its next tour. As you can see, they're like huge with huge, huge, huge tires. I'm sure 
those tires are taller than I am. That was a really fun ride. And it was close to an hour long. Like we went so far back out onto the property. We'll head back over to the main building because I feel like all that monster truck riding made me so thirsty. And it looks like they have world famous slushies here. World famous! Are they world famous? There's a lot of local honey and goods and products. Oh, popcorn, fun. You know, getting peanuts on those like Florida roadside orange and peanut stops is like one of those things you just do on road trips, or at least if you lived in Florida growing up. And they've got assorted flavors of peanuts. This dill pickle one is like calling to me. World famous slushy is being poured. All right, that looks good. This is 100% pure, fresh squeezed orange slushy. Perfection. When you come out to the showcase of citrus, you have to get a citrus product. Whether you taste a sample of one of their oranges or get a slushy, whatever you do, you need to try their citrus because that is the whole thing here. I can feel myself being filled with vitamins. Here's to Florida. Mm. I gave myself brain freeze. I knew that was gonna happen. Mm. Here's a trick. Wow. So one trick for brain freeze is they say to put your tongue against the roof of your mouth and I tried that and uh, okay, it worked. Okay, so yeah, take it easy with that. Both me and Dylan got some brain freeze, but it's really good and very fresh tasting. There's no uh, artificial taste to this or anything like that. It's a great way to cap off the day. It was so fun coming back here after two years. It's a good, like beautiful day out in the sunshine. I actually definitely want to come back for maybe some blueberry picking. They actually said December and January are the perfect time for orange picking. So maybe I'll come back soon and pick some oranges. That'll be a lot of fun. If you come out here with your family, I definitely recommend the hayride. It was so cool and informative. We actually learned a lot. And the monster truck ride was a lot of fun too. And you have that opportunity to see more animals when you're out there. So it's a lot of fun. And of course, doing the fruit picking. You gotta do the fruit picking. We'll be back for that. We had a really fun, good, old fashioned Florida day. Thank you all so much again for watching, for being with me, for all your love and positivity. I'm sending you all lots and lots of love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, stay enthused. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>